Okay, welcome back to 7th Gen Accord Revamp. So we've already done the front turn signals. Those have been converted to switch back. White when they're on parking and flashing orange or amber when you're on the turn signal. So those are done. We did interior lights. So we finished the map and dome lights. Um, we still gotta go back and get the glove box light. So we'll get that at some point. But today I finally got everything in. Um, it took a little longer than expected. But uh, we have our resistors in, so these are for 7440 and 7443, um, and uh, we'll be putting these in today and at least figuring out where we need resistors. So I have four of them here. I don't know if we need more yet, but you guys will see that as we go along in this video. Um, but everything else we have right here from JDM Star. So what we have here are, these are 7440, I think. Um, these, both of these will be used for turn signals and brake lights. Uh, these are red bulb or red LEDs. Um, I went and got red because I did you can technically put white in, the housing is red. If you have an 03 to 04 Accord, your turn signals, um, that part of the housing will be clear. So make sure you do get um, like amber for your turn signal um, or something like that. Um, but for us, 05 and I guess newer, uh, they are red. So I just wanted to put red in there, even though it doesn't matter. Um, I don't like when it kind of shows up as more of an orange tone um, with the light, so I like it to be pure red, so I ordered red. And then we have some reverse lights right here that'll be pretty good. Uh, they kind of have a magnification style bulb, I guess, in them. So these should be super bright, and uh, those would be our reverse lights. Now for the non-brake or turn signal lights, we have these little 168, um, 194, they're kind of interchangeable. Um, if you go to the store, you'll probably see them as like boxes like this. So these are 194 white um, Phillips, and uh, these are interchangeable from 194 and 168 but please note that the wattage that they use are different and uh, I'll have a little thing on the screen right here showing kind of the difference between them um, but the wattage is different so if that's a concern to you uh, make sure you check before using one or the other even though they fit in the same slot so we only have one white one here that I've had sitting around um, and we're gonna use that for the license plate light on the sedan, there's only one light on the coupe there are two lights so you'll need two of these but in this case I have one laying around, so that's perfect. Uh, and it's not blue, <laughs> so that's good. But anyway, we have all this here, so uh, super excited about it. I think that it's gonna be good, and follow along to see uh, how we get these installed and what we discover on the way. If you haven't already seen the previous episode, um, I think, I believe it was episode three of this series, where I went over the explanation of LEDs and how everything goes, and I did a demonstration. Be sure to watch that if you want to understand more about how our Accords, at least for 7th Gen, handle LEDs and the canvas system and all of that. So if you want to learn more, I recommend you watch that video. Uh, there's probably a little card in the corner recommending it right now, so you can go and click on that and watch that. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what's going to work yet, but if you keep watching this video, we're going to discover and see if we need uh, resistors and where we need resistors. Alright, let's uh, go over to the car and get them installed. Okay, we've got everything laid out here in the car. Now, to make this super easy, get some gloves. They don't have to be fancy, um, but some gloves so you don't have to touch these, um, especially the stock bulbs. This, you know, in the event something doesn't work, that we can um, make sure that we don't destroy them by touching them anyway. So it's pretty easy to install this stuff. Um, the resistors, we're gonna have to figure out a little bit. Uh, those will take a little bit more work, but for now, let's just pull out the stock stuff. So there are two panels on each side, right here and right here, and these are what you're going to want to pull out. So this side I'm just going to pull out, pops out, and driver's side, push your finger in, kind of just pop it out like that. Now we can twist our bulbs, take it, twist it towards yourself, and then kind of just slide it out real carefully. Same for the bottom, that's the turn signal, the top is the brake. Twist it towards you, 
it'll make a little pop. Pull it out nice and easy. Do the same for the other side. Push it outwards. There you go, pull it out. Bottom one, twist it away from you, pull it out. There we go. Now we have our stock bulbs. Now the top, which is the brake, is 7443. And the bottom, which is the turn signal, is 7440. So remember that, you'll need it. So I'm just gonna do this. Bottom one is there, that's the turn signal. And just pull this one out. Top is the brake light. Same for the other side. Pull it out, bottom, and top. These we're not sure if we need them for the top and bottom yet. Not 100% sure, but we'll test it first just using um, our main LEDs and see what happens. Because the last time I remember, I had these, um, these Sylvania, not these uh, Zevo ones, but these ones in, and you'd they'd work fine for just the lights running, but as soon as you hit the brake, it would kill all the tail lights. So I think that's a result of probably needing to use this but we're gonna do those tests today and you guys will see it on video so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, pop these in and uh, get it ready for testing these LEDs actually look um, they do kind of look a little cheap but they have the pin out so that's good uh, let's go ahead and plug them in they're both kind of the same for either or 7440 and 7443 as long as they fit, we should be good. Doesn't want to really go that way. This way might be better. Okay. Oh, and that's cracked. Excellent. I think that one was broken anyway. Oh, it slides in. That one's good. I'm trying to get a feel for which direction is not going to break anything. And it's broken that way. Great. <laughs> Another connector broken. That's not too bad though, as long as it makes the contact. This is an easy fix, really cheap, but that's a bummer. They will fit. I mean, if I look over here, it's hard to see on the GoPro. I'm not sure how to angle this. Maybe that's better. Or you can kind of just push it. So they do fit, they, they meet the clearance, that's for sure. So that's a good thing. All right, let's test the turn signals. Okay, so it does hyper flash in the rear. So that does prove my theory that we do need resistors for the rear turn signals. Um, it's not due to low battery um, or the key flashing, that doesn't matter. But if we check, they do flash, so that's good. Let's try right. Right is not flashing, so that means we need to reverse the polarity. So, flip it around. There we go. Those are in. So I guess when you plug them in the correct way, you're not gonna crack the housing. <laughs> I guess, or just be a little more careful. Well, that's a good sign. At least they're blinking. Go ahead and turn that off. Let's hit the, oh, I guess we can give it more power. Emergency flashers. The front ones aren't even triggered by hyper flash. You can see that. Oh, they are a little bit. But the battery is so low that it doesn't matter. But the rear. Ah. They've slowed down. Interesting. So it appears they may have just grabbed power um, and that's why they're flashing normally. Looks good. Check it again. Both good, okay. Go ahead and turn those off. So basically, 
for our turn signals, which are these ones, we will need these resistors. So I guess uh, we'll open a pack and we'll give them a go. So these are the cheap eBay resistors that I found. Yeah, so these need to ideally be mounted to some metal piece, like in the bit of the trunk. Um, over here, I'm not sure where I can mount these, but uh, we'll figure that out later. We just need to test these for, for now. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my bulb out. Remember, it's this way up, so I don't have to reverse it and find out find that out again. Plug this end in. We'll make sure the pins line up. So these are 7440 to 7443. I want to make sure I line up and that I have contact on each spot that I want. Okay. All we need to do is flip this one over. So take it. Okay, let's see which way fits in the best first. That's how you kind of check. Um, I think the other way fits in better. These are both compatible, but I'm not sure um, why this other side doesn't have a pin out of it. But regardless, we're just making do. It's the same thing, just flip it over. That way it fits. So now I should have a connection on both sides. So I'm not sure you guys can see that. There we go. Push it in slowly. I'm not trying to break this. It'll go in. It just takes some a little bit of angle and motivation for it to pop in. There we go. Got it to slide. And the connector is good. Take this bit, hook it up to our LED, make sure our pins match so we get contact, and it's in. All right. All right. It's pretty bright, I'd say. I want to see what it looks like in the housing during the day. Just kind of pop it in there quickly. Quick turn. Hard to see. Seems bright. Again, we'll have to check it at night. Turn signals. Nice and bright. Confirm the other one. Good, looks good. Hazards, let's put those on. Looks good. Looks like those are working. Next step, replace these and reverse lights because the reverse lights um, need to be converted but we don't know if we need our resistors yet. All right, brake light test. Here we go. Let's see if these, uh, what these need. All right, let me check the other lights. They're still on. Okay, let off the brake. Do it again. Okay, they get brighter. All right. Uh, turn signal and brake. Okay, hazards and brake. That's hazards right now. Okay, this is hazards, okay. Are they going both? Yep, good. Let go of the brake. Looks good. So we're gonna quickly change out the bulbs for the reverse lights and see how our LEDs react in there and how the car reacts to the LEDs being in. So I'm gonna Find the direction they'll go in without breaking the housing. There we go, that's pretty good. Switch this one over here. There's no light in it. The car in reverse. Yep, and then turn the key to the on position, but not start, okay. They are on, LEDs are on, so I don't think we need resistors for that. 
test is successful, although I will note I've had these, these were the LEDs that were originally in here used as the brake lights for a while and after about two weeks that's when we got the problem of when you would hit the brake everything in the rear all the lights would actually die i guess what will happen is we'll have to drive it for some time with it and then just keep the resistors in the car um, and then if uh, somebody honks at us or something like that we will find out but i will let you guys know um, in a video on how that goes and you know what's going to happen with that um, but these these work um, they are a little hot I mean there's a good reason why these should be mounted to something metal um, but as for mounting points um, let me get this off so you guys can see better as for mounting points I'm not sure where we're gonna put them um, because they do get hot tape isn't really gonna work I mean my gloves are uh, preventing most of the heat right now but they are hot I'm not a hundred percent sure yet where we can ideally mount these um, so that they don't have heat. Um, and we might have to even pull the lining, but I'm, I will come up with a solution and I will let you guys know. But first, I'm just gonna put our brake lights back in. As for the third brake light up here, um, this I don't have an extra LED for. So what I'll do is at night, um, I'm gonna go ahead and test it with one of these and worst case we get another resistor for this one and get it in or for now we just leave one of the stock bulbs in and uh and run it since it is 7440 so we'll run that probably for now um until i can get an extra one or we'll just put this one in um with another resistor as soon as we find out whether or not that's okay now for the last things we'll do here we will take two of these little guys and shake them out. Okay, we only need two. And the two that we're gonna need it for is right here. So let's make sure I'll twist these the right way so I don't break anything. Um, Cause I don't wanna break anything. Um, let's see, that one doesn't wanna move. So rule of thumb is test this one. See how it goes? Okay, rotate super easy. All right, this one's out, so take that out. And these are 194, so 168 are gonna be a little brighter. Um, and they do use more power traditionally with um, regular bulbs, so it'll be kind of interesting to see uh, how these do. Um, I'm not too pleased with the uh, quality of that uh, connecting metal right there, but. Um, We'll still put them in and give it a go. So you're gonna be careful. This already looks flimsy and it does spin. So we're gonna have to be super careful. Um, these were cheap. So, I mean, what did I expect? Just try and get it in without breaking it. Okay. There we go, one's in. This one, doesn't want to come out. This one's in more beat up shape. I'm gonna have to go and get a newer connector for this for sure. I did not actually break this off while taking it off. Um, when I went to turn it, I found that this piece wasn't even on. I couldn't see it because the connector was on. I uh, kind of hit it from sight. The angle is at and I didn't really look. Um, so that's messed up. Um, I don't know how long that's been messed up. These bulbs have never been removed. I've only removed this one to test for to see if LEDs would be okay using this 194 over here. So that is a bit of a bummer. Um, I wish I'd known about that sooner. I would have ordered this piece and probably ordered the cracked ones over here as well. But I could probably go to a pick and pull and find them for really cheap. But uh, we'll just take those out. They work fine. Like I said, I've never pulled these out except that one over there. So these are both original Honda. Um, bulbs so that's pretty good 15 years no problem um, and we're only pulling it apart to put LEDs in so the last one was pretty flimsy so I want to make sure this one goes in all right and before I even put these back in I'm just gonna test it right off the bat both wiggle fine so I they're okay. 
Um, they're fragile though, so the rest of these I'm gonna have to be really careful with. Um, wouldn't sure if I'd recommend these at the moment, um, just to do due to the poor quality, but I mean, you get what you pay for. Um, obviously, these ones are gonna be more expensive, um, but uh, we're on a budget here when it comes to doing all this, so, and it happens to be my budget. Um, in this case, because I've wanted to upgrade these, so these will do, um, and if they break, we have extras, but uh, if you're looking for something that's more solid built, the, the Phillips ones are really good, and uh, I'll actually show it to you, since I have a box here. Um, I'm gonna pull it out. The Phillips ones are much nicer built. They have enclosure and uh, they're just really easy. They got a dot too telling you which side uh, for the polarity. So that's that's really handy. Um, these I didn't really check for that, but you kind of just guess and check and you'll be okay. So this is gonna go in as a license plate light. But that's good to know. These work and uh, our reverse lights work and like I said earlier I'm gonna test these over the length of two or three weeks along with the brake lights to see if we're gonna need resistors for all of those but it just turns out so far turn signals need the resistors okay um, now I don't recommend you do this it, uh, if you can get a new one before you put this in uh, I 100% recommend you do that but I'm gonna put it in for the time being and I will look for that part um, and see if anyone's going to a pick and pull so they can get me that part. But for now, I'm just gonna be super careful with how I uh, put it in. Just turn it a little bit. Okay, it's in there solid. I'm gonna be careful and uh, I will get a new one because I don't like how that's broken. Um, just put our reverse lights in and they fit perfectly so the bulb width is not too big. Um, that's a good thing. And just find the direction that you need to line it up. There you go, locked in. That is a temporary job. That'll work for now. We've just attached it using some electrical tape. It doesn't move a whole lot. Uh, it does get hot, so it might not stick perfectly after a while. Um, I will keep an eye on it. I'll probably just order canvas-free um, bulbs instead that have the resistors built in so you don't have to deal with having the resistors or just having all of this as a whole. What's annoying is how they have wired this. Um, I'm sure they could have done a better job where this could be more separate. But again, this is uh, this is one of those eBay products I didn't have a whole lot of faith in. But as long as it gets the job done. Now, I do see that this one, the other one was pretty well shielded. But this one does have some copper and stuff sticking out of it. I wouldn't say that's the highest quality one. Um, and I, did, I didn't notice that until now, so. What we'll do is we'll just find the better quality one that we'd have on hand here and just swap it in and not use this. So you're trying to prevent things from, from happening. Uh, now this side does have more space, so it should be easier to kind of put things in. This one looks the best. Um, I am just gonna, out of precaution, tape this one up and I'll probably go back and tape up the other one because I, Honestly, don't want anything to happen or set a fire in here, and it, it honestly should not. I'm really not that worried about it because we are putting it to a metal surface. It is sticking to stuff and uh, electrical tape, but this one kind of had a freely open looking connection here, so I'm just gonna wrap it up even more. If you do order these things, do be prepared to potentially modify and add stuff to them. So it appears this side is gonna be the tricky side because this little tab cannot rest up against that screw. Um, so that kind of sucks, but in the worst case, uh, we can find a way to rotate this and get it to feed correctly places. Um, I should have just pulled this whole lining out to be honest. It probably would have been easier. Um, and saved a lot more time as of now. Um, but we are slowly getting there. Um, it's a, just a, honestly, it's a matter of rotation right now. I'm just playing games. 
So I managed to get it in using one hand and some tape. So tape is just holding it right now. Obviously not very good. But uh, I'm going to work on the rest and get it in. It's pretty hard to film um, on my head because I'm putting my head really close with my hands. So I hope you guys understand. But I'll find a way to get it in. Once it's in, I'll show you how I did it. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to pull this out a little here. Connector from the stock is going down. It's all taped in there. Tape diagonal. It still has a bit of movement. Um, obviously the tape isn't perfect. Um, but it's as good as I can get it right now. And it's good for temporary use. And we'll see what happens when heat builds up. Uh, the cable up top, I just put a little piece of electrical tape to uh, keep it kind of from not moving as much. Um, do need to press it down a little bit more. Uh, that's not too bad. But um, yeah, it's in. Um, these aren't in yet. Uh, I'll get to these in a little bit and uh, fitting those in because they don't fit in perfect and they don't necessarily match up with how stock does. Uh, you might have to shave it a little bit, but I found a method to get them in and out so far. Um, getting them out because I got them in by accident. So that's how I figured it out. But uh, we'll, I'll show you how to do that too. This is where we're at right now. Um, these are LEDs, no resistors. Those are the brake lights. These are turn signals that are on. Um, and they're working. They're not hyper flashing because they're on hazards right now. Um, and they're not even hyper flashing earlier because I had them on and off going. Uh, our little lights here are LEDs. Um, I don't know how bright they are yet but they don't seem comparably as bright to this but at night we'll be able to know um so they look all right okay i think i figured out something here um this is a little puzzling not gonna lie but so if i have parking lights off and i hit my turn signal look at it's completely fine and in the rear no resistor connected at all blinking just fine and this goes for the right side as well. But if I turn it off and I go to parking lights, so those are on, the front ones are on, and the lights here, but I hit the turn signal, they hyper flash. So I am slightly puzzled, but I also have a theory for this. I do believe that maybe the relay that controls the lights could be swapped over to something that's compatible thus avoiding any form of resistor or canvas free leds where you could just use the regular ones like we have in the rear right now um by the way this also has the same behavior when you have your regular lights on and uh high beams as well so um but it, it's just fine when you turn it to no parking lights so i'm a little puzzled not going to lie i'm pretty confused um, but looks like, uh, that's another thing that we should research as well. It's been there a while. Okay, well, we will, uh, put that back and we want to address this. Two clips, you can kind of press it there, slide the housing out we have our bulb this needs to be cleaned out anyway so take this out and see how it looks 15 years it's got a bit of a dark tip but not not bad honestly and that is a uh, what which rating is this 168 so you can replace it with a 168 or 194. I just have a 194 laying around. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna have to clean this out. Look at all the bugs. Actually, let's do that first. Never thought there'd be as many bugs in here as, uh, as I'm seeing. I think on that side. Ooh. Will this fit? Will we make the clearance? I am not sure. Wow. 
It's gonna be tight. Push it in. More force than you would think you need. Okay, let's test it. Parking lights. Let's see how bright it is. Yeah, it could be brighter, but I think it's perfect. It's not too bright. It shouldn't be super, super, super bright at night. Uh, it should be about the perfect amount of light. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. I mean, we can obviously test the, uh, the 168 right here and we have plenty of them, but these are red um, and you don't want to be called out for impersonating a police officer because that's a whole different deal. So I don't feel like going out and buying some other ones of these, um, although we might have to end up buying canvas free LEDs so we can avoid the whole resistor thing. Um, that'll be probably pretty much a to be continued, I think, at this point. So there are pieces, I believe, on eBay you can get that are just, it's a full LED assembly. I mean, eBay has everything. Just like the trunk light that you could get. Um, this, I guess I could convert to a full like LED strip in here with this cover, but uh, I think this is just gonna do the job perfectly, so we're gonna go with this. Push it back on here, make sure you line it up. I mean, I think I got it the wrong way, yes I did. Okay, line it up, it'll click, cool. Go ahead and push the wire and obviously the seal is a bit of a concern. If you wanna replace that, I'm sure you can look up the part number, but I'm just gonna put it in as it is here and pinch it together. So then you just push it. Oh, yep, push it, see if you can get it in, I guess. Push it, yeah, at an angle, and then it's in. So now it should be bright. Make sure it works. And uh, yeah, it appears to work. So we'll see what that looks like at night. So right now, and I, I don't know what time it is. Um, it's later, that's for sure. But I really, I don't know. I'm been trying all day to kind of come up with the best way to continue this. I mean, I don't know how much of the footage you've seen of what we've been doing, but uh, trying to find maybe a better solution instead of the resistors. I do want to talk to JDM a star, so I'm going to try and get in contact with them and maybe see if we can update some of the info that they have posted online about what what's supported for this car and stuff. I have not found a good form with info on LEDs and some of these episodes have not been up long enough for people to comment and add things. So I'm um, kind of discovering and making educated guesses on some of these things, um, resistors being part of it, but they're working. It's just, I don't really like the, how much heat they generate um, because especially I don't have them screwed down and in the summer it could be baking out. And I know LEDs with resistors built in will generate heat too, but I don't think they'll generate as much as these will. But anyway, I, I don't know, um, probably continue tomorrow. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Like I said, I'm filming on GoPro. There's not a whole lot I can really show you. Um, it's not as bright as I could do it. But uh, I'll go ahead and just, uh, we'll show you the reverse lights. Okay. Pretty bright. Uh, actually, we still have our lights on, so let's turn off our lights entirely. This is just reverse. I mean, this is against white, but still much brighter than stock. They do shoot out at an angle, so you can kind of see more where your mirror is at. I do like that, because um, that's where the magnification is. Uh, and the other side, so you, not necessarily a whole lot behind you, but it's more onto the side, so you can kind of get an idea of where, you know, where you need to put the car. Um, so that's really good. Um, so we'll actually pop that out. And it's dark, but we'll turn on our lights. I mean, that's, that's pretty bright. Um, definitely the bigger bulbs are brighter here. The license plate light looks pretty nice. Um, might want to do it brighter, but I think it's pretty good. Once it hits a plate, it'll be easier to see. Um, and it's not like overpoweringly bright. It's distinct, I guess, enough. Um, the little LEDs here, I thought they'd be a little bit brighter because it does, in my opinion, look like we are hitting the brake right now, even though we're not. Um, and I don't really have a way to show you that, except if I found a brick and put it on the brake pedal. Um, so we'll get to that though. By the end of this video, we'll go over how it all looks. But um, those are dimmer than I thought. 
Uh, but I think that's okay. I mean, it's all right. And they look pretty red. I mean, they're still a little orange-ish looking, but um, better than if there was a white LED in. Um, it looks pretty good. But I can show you, I guess, the braking power. If I look back and I hit the brake, It's not overpoweringly bright. I guess that's nice, but we'll see once we get to the back how much brighter it is. Um, but overall, I mean, even with the front, it's doing pretty good. So I like it. I, th I think it's good. Thumbs up for today. Um, they do hyper flash right now, but if you, if you turn off the, uh, the parking lights because we don't have resistors connected so lights are off and you hit the turn signal so there goes the front one not bad um, no resistors connected so that's why it hyper flashed earlier um so i think that'll be it for this video or at least the, this portion of the video kind of a frustrating day i guess we found that we can't necessarily run the resistors like at least the way i thought I, or we wanted to obviously they work fine when you have the uh, parking lights on and you do turn signals with the resistors connected they don't hyper flash um, so that's a good thing I think we could solve the brake lights once we know if they will completely kill the taillights after a little bit of driving and stuff like that we'll know by then other than that I think everything's in good standing and you can run it this way but I'm not happy yet. I think there's a better plug and play solution that involves those canvas air-free bulbs and not dealing with resistors. If there's a brake light relay that we can get to, you could also change that to have it LED compatible. Although under the hood, when I hit the, the keys to unlock and lock, you can hear uh, the switch going back and forth. So it's under a plastic panel somewhere and I don't know if it's easily accessible by the user without removing some things so i'm just trying to make this as seamless and as easy to upgrade as possible not necessarily like tear everything apart um, everything we've done so far has been pretty easy so uh, i'm keeping that in mind but that's uh that's where we stand today i'm i'm not gonna lie i'm a little a little disappointed but again not a lot of info online that i can find and i'm piecing this together and so hopefully if some of you are watching the full length of this video, which I hope you are, you kind of can understand my frustration and maybe learn a little bit of how some of the electronical things, at least with lights, are working in here as I'm learning. Uh, might be interest interesting for some of you that uh, like to see the whole process and understand everything. Um, I am that way. Some people aren't. I understand that. But uh, that's why these episodes are long. Um, and that's why there are timestamps in the description. That's where you can skip to where things work, where things don't. I'll describe it uh, so you can get to the part you really, really want. And I don't really want to go and buy the expensive canvas LEDs. Like I originally thought, ah, save money, order the resistors, um, which are kind of cheap. I'm worried about them actually setting on fire. I'm um, not going to lie. That's why I wrapped them in extra electrical tape. They should be okay. I'm just a little paranoid, but it's understandable. The plan is tomorrow, because tomorrow is Monday, I will shoot an email to JDM Astar and see if I can work with them to test bulbs for this vehicle so they can have a better kind of setup for Honda maybe, or just seventh gen Accords in general, because I know their stuff's going to work. It's a matter of them listing it properly. So that way people can buy it. And then these videos will help us seventh gen owners figure it out and, you know, have more knowledge when it comes to purchasing LEDs. So that'll help out and hopefully they might see that as a benefit and that I can make some videos for them in exchange for maybe getting some parts to try here and there for them and giving them feedback. That'd be great. I'd like to get the canvas air free, pop them in and see how they do versus this, you know, rigged up uh, resistor solution. And I hope that's temporary. But like I said, I was looking to not really spend a whole lot when I was doing all these little upgrades. And so I don't know what the best option is right now, but keep watching the video and um, I hope we figure it out. So this will end for today's portion and I'll uh, check in with you guys tomorrow.